What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles, the YouTube channel. My name is Josh Squeaky Marking, and today is Rogue Tuesday, and we are playing a Magnazone Dusk Main. Uh, Dusk Main, yeah, Dusk Main across from GX, the Alga deck. Now, this list was actually piloted by Joe, who would make top 64, if I remember correctly, maybe top 32. I know he made day two for sure with the list. Um, but it's an updated list. I don't have his, his exact one, but I reached out to him and I was like, hey, Joe, you, or actually, you know, he reached out to me. I think we reached out to each other. I'm not sure who. I think we were talking on Twitch first, and then he sent me the updated version of his Magnezone Dust main list. He says the better list. So I'm not exactly sure what his old one was, but Joe did send me his new Magnezone Dust main. Like I said, I, don't, I think we we're on Twitch just talking and we just talked about like rogue decks and he uh, wanted to showcase, or we both want to showcase his Magnezone deck. So let's look at this deck. Magnezone is a card we really haven't seen too much. And this Diaga we really haven't seen at all. I think it's from the new set uh don't quote me on that i don't know when cards come out anymore i guess i could check real quick let's go let's go to pokemon this is diaga from the new set oh i guess i could just go here right filters and does it look like yeah yeah it is it looks like it is from the new lost thunder sets so that's why i don't know what this card really does so i'm excited to see this diaga it is a very cool card after playing around with it uh we did test it some tonight at my friend kenny's house um, my friend Adam Aldonado is playing this deck, and it seems very, very strong. Uh, so let's go over this deck. I think it does have a good place in the metal. The only thing I'm really kind of scared of is Blasphleon, but uh, let's go over. So if you don't know, our main guy is going to be Magnet Zone. It's got that ability of Magnetic Circuit, which lets you attach as many metal entries from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So that's the key thing to note right there. Uh, we are playing this Magnemite with the no ability. Uh, just search different three metal entry cards to fill them and put them to your hand. But um, our main attacker is going to be Dialga. Now, Dialga has this really cool attack called Turn Back Time. If your opponent's act Pokemon is an evolved Pokemon, it devolve it by putting the highest stage evolution card into your opponent's hand. And what this is really good is against Zork decks or anything that evolves with rare candy because usually when you turn back time, they have 60 HP or less and you're going to one-shot them because that card is going to go back into their hand and you're going to knock them out, which is very, very interesting. Uh, it also plays a Dust Main Necrozma GX, which is a really good attacker. It's got Claw Slash, which is just 60. It's got a Meteor Tempest, which is just 220 damage. But you have to discard 3 Degradation Pokemon and Sun Eclipse GX. 250 damage, but you can use this attack only if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. The main card we really kind of want to use is this Diaga, just to turn back time. And it's kind of hard for Zorx to take a knockout. Um, Guardi... I think Guardi should be fine because you can just power blast them. You can just like you can just power blast or knock out. You discard energy, but then they knock you out. But then you have another Dialga, you knock out the Guardi again. I think it's a fine matchup. I think you're fine with Guardi as well. I think you're fine against Decidueye decks. I think you're fine against Zorak decks. I think you're just fine overall because your turn back timing devolving the Pokemon, taking the knockout, and then they're taking a one shot on a on a non pri on a non GX guy. And like whatever, I don't care. I'm just gonna put another one down, and you're gonna be you're gonna be good to go. And of course, top of course, to help set up. Now, like I said, Bosephion's a little bit different because, you know, turn back time, well, it doesn't evolve anything, but you kind of just trade back and forth with Dustmane across those, and it's kind of like who runs out of energy first. Yeah, they had to discard two to knock you out, um, but once you start cycling the energies, you might be able to beat them. It's still a very rough matchup for sure. But three Acrobite, look at top two cards of your deck, put one to your hand, discard the other card. This is going to help you get medals in the discard pile. For Nest Ball and for Ultra Ball to get out your Pokemon. For Rare Candy, trying to get that turn to Magnezone. There's no Nine Tails in this list. It's just more of a, you know, we're just going to beat you with Magnezone. Hope we hit the Rare Candy turn two and good to go. Uh, for Mount Cornet, you can get two Metal G from your Discard Pile back into your hand. Uh, for Cynthia, of course, best draw support of the game right now. Two Fishmen to get back four energy cards from your Discard Pile into your hand, which is really nice. I uh, two goose maker Pokemon on the bench. And a new card, which is Lady. I is that new? Um, it's got that simple. What simple is that? Who knows? I know guys, how does Josh play this game? And he doesn't know which simples are from what. Uh looks like it's from Bidden Light. Uh it's just a card we haven't really seen. Search deck before basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them to your hand. This is actually really good because once they go on your hand, 
You could use Magnetic Circuit and attach it to your Pokemon. A uh, really cool thing as well. One Lily, of course, get a turn one. You're good to go. Sightseer is interesting because you can discard Metal Energies. But the main supporter card you want to use turn one is going to be Steven's Resolve. Search deck for three cards, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Your turn ends. This is going to guarantee your like a rare candy, Magnezone kind of combo, wombo kind of thing. Uh, one Beast Energy, so your Beast, uh, your Ultra Beast do 30 more damage. I guess if you want to do 280 with Sun Eclipse, you can. If you want to do 250 with Meteor Tempest, you can. Uh, there's no choice span, so this could be your way to one shot. You know, uh, Decidueye GXs, you're gonna go that way. But this is the Magnezone Dialga Dust Main uh, Dust We've seen a lot of the Psychic version of this deck. Well, I guess that doesn't need to evolve with Malamar. But uh, I guess we'll just call this, let's call it Turn Back Time. All right, if I could turn back time. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I could turn back time if I play this deck or not. But who, who, Tyranitar. All right, let's play turn back time. Uh, shout out to Joe one more time for getting t day two with this deck. Shout out to Starbucks for uh, giving me a life. Uh, we did do a lot of testing with this deck. I actually, I'm I know guys, we're, well, I'm really doing testing, right? So we actually know what we're doing here. And it looks like we are playing against like some kind of Guardi Zork variant, and I think this is a fine, fine matchup here. I think it's a good matchup for us. We both are Mulligan turn one. I'm just hoping it's not. Uh, of course, like we, I'm talking about all this hype. You know, this deck seems really good. Blah blah blah, and then this happens. It's a Hunt Crow deck. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we're probably with Steven Resolve. That guy's all we can really do right now, unless we top deck something. We top deck a Magnemite, they were looking good, and Ultra Ball were looking good. Sightseer. See, Sightseer is not a card I really want to see right now. Hmm. I think I'm still going to, uh, we're going to attach first, and then we're going to Steven's Resolve. Grabbing a Magnemite, a Magnemite, and then maybe an Ultra Ball. We could grab Cynthia. Let's grab Magnemite, Cynthia, and Dialga. No, an Ultra Ball. We literally just talked about that. Yeah, so we can Ultra Ball the Metal and whatever. We can put down Magnemite. We get some stuff. Yeah, I think this is probably the better of the play because then we can mount cornet put the energy back in our hand and then we can start swinging with energy drive we want to we can put down magnemite ultra ball metal sightseer um get a um <clears throat> diago online they're trying to punish me we can immediately counter that which is good for us acrobike here discarding a, a fairy energy there's top of coco coming down there's an acrobike number two discarding a judge okay judge actually would be really good like just disrupt us right now Okay, there's an Orangaroo coming down. Can he put his hand down to three? There's a Lily for five. All right, that's a good turn one. Does he put a DC to the active? Probably not. Uh, we're going to Mount Cornet, bump his stadium, Ultra Ball, the Sightseer Metal. Uh, there is a rain, uh, Rainbow Energy going to the, uh, not Counter Energy going there. All right, put down Magnemite. Ultra Ball. I think we still discard the Metal and the Sightseer. Sightseer, sorry, it's not Sightseer, I know this, guys. Don't get mad at me. Um, uh, put down this. Put this down. Use Mount Cornet for a metal. Catch a metal, and then we'll Cynthia for a new hand of six. Alrighty, so we can Nest Ball for another Magnemite. Okay, put another Magnemite down. And right now, we'll just... Yeah, we'll just energy drive for 40. Next time we can knock it out. Um, the only thing I'm kind of worried about is this Tapu Coco. It has resistance. I mean, yeah, we got Power Blast for a knockout, which is good. But we have to get four energies on this guy. There's a Hunch Curve coming down. Okay. Skateboard to the active. Give it free retreat. That's kind of unfortunate. Puts down a Potown. We can bump down Mount Cornet again. Very nice. 
And today for new hand of six. Okay. Now with this deck, there's no Oranguru or anything, so um, that's why it's played so many like stadium cards or so many supporter cards for sure. Um, hopefully we get a Magna Zone. There's a DC going to that guy. 20, 40, 60, 80. I mean, we can one shot it if we can get more metal energies, and then we get the Rekini Magna Zone. We see an Ultra Ball getting another Coco. Okay. Uh, he's playing the Fair Energies because of Tapu um, Lele. We'll see it struck for one. Alrighty. What else we got here? What does this do? I don't know. What, I mean, we're not going to put out a bunch of GX and stuff, so he's going to be very hard for the Nag Knockouts. Give me an Ultra Ball top deck. Nope. Mount Cornet. Uh, Cynthia. Okay. Let's see here. Alrighty. So, we can touch another Metal to the Active. And swing for 100. Alrighty. Not looking good for the good guys right now. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, there's a Lily for three. Okay. Hope we get a Magna Zone. Because he gets spread. If he spreads again, we'll put down the Magnemite. And there's the Flying Flip. We're definitely going to put the Magnemite down this turn. Uh, kind of separate a Magnemite because these guys could get knocked out. And they are definitely getting knocked out this turn. So put down the Magnemite. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. We'll end your drive for the knockout. And I put four here, so when he attacks this guy, we can just knock it out next turn. Oops, wrong card. Magnemite, great. He's about to take two prize cards, but it does get rid of some damage on these Magnemites. The only card I'm really worried about is him knocking out this Tapu Lele at any point. Okie dokie. We see a counter energy on that guy and a judge. Thank you, opponent. So he gets four. We get four as well. <laughs> All right. There's a stretch here for another Coco. So he's going to take a knockout. Oh, two Magnemites. We'll be tied. We'll take a knockout. We can attach a metal to the Dialga. Here comes Hunchcrow. We're going to see a Raven's Claw for the knockout. Great. All right. So what do we need top deck here? Well, we need top deck an Ultra Ball. <sighs> Alrighty, well, we'll do Steven's Resolve for Magnazone, Rare Candy, Magnazone, or do we go, we already got one, so we don't need both of these, so we just need one, we'll get the Magnazone, um, and two metals. How much is Honkar doing? A bunch, right? We'll grab these, actually. Yeah, this seems a little better. Okay. We get Rare Candy Magnazone. Uh, put down Dialga. Retreat a Magnemite. Maybe take a knockout this turn. Okay, they never see that. They never see uh, De Deontay coming down. Or Tapu Lele. I always call the card Deontay. I know it's not Deontay. I know it's not Deontay. Uh, so we see knockout. Okay. So it goes down to three. Goes down to two. We're looking really, really bad right now. Just letting you know that, guys. All right. Rare Candy, Magnazone. Put down Diaga. Magnetic Circuit. One. Two. Mount Cornet. Two. And then we'll take a knockout, go down to four. But, I mean, I think he should be able to win this game pretty easily. Unfortunately. No, keep magnetic circuit. Why'd you stop? Alright, there we go. Now we'll power blast for the knockout, okay? So we get out of four, but I think he's gonna have enough resources to like knock us out probably. So Dust Main across my GX. We see Top of Coco. He's gonna spread here. Um I mean maybe there's another nest ball for another Coco, most likely. But he's down, he's down his third DCE here. And these don't work right now. Just letting you know. So maybe we have a chance here? Um, he has to like manly attach fairy energies. Hmm. And he's already played two fairies, okay. Um, that doesn't really matter. 
as long as he doesn't buff our Mount Cornet. Okay, he's already played, what, two Shrines? Oh, but Shrine of Potan, okay. There's a same thing we do. He had a six. Okay. Let's see here. What else does... I mean, does he have a way to bump the stadium? He does have a way to bump the stadium. We're looking really nice, right? We're looking good. He can spread. Whatever. That's fine. I don't think he has enough turns of spreading to win this game. <clears throat> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Crushing hammer. No! That's actually a really big deal on that one. Okay. Fly and flip 20 there, everybody. Oh, Lord. All right, what we talking about here? Give me a support card. Nestball. All right, so a Nestball for nothing. Uh, yeah, we'll grab nothing. Uh, we have to go Lele or we just lose here, I feel like. Yep. We'll grab a Lele. Lady. Okay, we'll guarantee our energy's turn. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So three. Well, Mount Cornet for two. We will Magnetic Circuit. Okay. Let's put one, two. Stop. Why does it stop me? Okay. So we got that. All right. So then we'll Power Blast for Knockout. Okay. Go down to three price cards. I'm scared this Hunch Card's going to be able to knock out a top of Lele somehow this turn. Um, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirty, fourteen. Okay. I mean, his Hunch Crew needs another energy as well. And like I said, he's down, what, three DCEs, two rainbows, and two counters. Uh, so he needs one more. Counter's only one right now. Okay. Like I said, it's going to be close here for sure. Hmm. And double counter on the active. Okay. <clears throat> Does he have Guzma or not? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And only 50. So it doesn't knock us. It doesn't knock out that Lele just yet. But it will knock out the active. But then we mount Cornet for 2. And then, okay, so there's Guzma. Bring up the. Okay, the Magnazone. Uh oh. That is problematic. Um. Raven's Claw. Okay. I mean, we could attach Magnemite, Rare Candy, Magnazone, and then we're still okay here. Alright, on to our turn. We will attach Mount Cornet, the two. Um, actually, as long as we attach every single turn, we win. So I'm actually going to turn back time. I uh, know we're going to Power Blast for Knockout, actually. Yeah, Power Blast for Knockout is better. All right. Because he can evolve this into whatever. All right, so we go down to two. There's a metal, okay. The only problem is if he goosebumps up this guy, then it's stuck. And then we might lose that way. Um, we have both. Our guys are down. There's a Latios. Or Guru. Cynthia. Alrighty. Um, I think this turn we put down the Magnemite. There's a Potown. Okay. I think we might have this, guys. The only thing I'm scared of is this Oranguru taking a knock on next turn. I'm just going to be perfectly honest. That's what I'm scared of. Is this Rangu actually knocking us out? Hmm. Alright, pass the dark turn. Well. Let's put down Mag Magnemite. Let's think about this. Well, Acrobite top two. For another Acrobike. Well, Acrobike again. For a lily. Okay. Um. Let's see. Six, seven, and nine. Okay, so I put down dust main. Put a metal energy. Hard retreat. And pass. Okay. 
Like I said, the Ranger is what I'm scared of. That Ranger could, could have knocked us out last turn. So Skateboard did Latios, okay. This Psychic could still knock us out though. That's what I'm scared of, for real. How many Guzmas is he down? He's down one Guzma as of right now. Okay, so is he ult balling? He's discarding a counter catcher and Lily. Okay. Counter catcher. Oh boy. There's another um Haunch Crow. Okay. Taking the 30. Hmm. Does he go for a retreat? Okay, there's stretcher. He's gonna shuffle some stuff back in his deck. And he's going to struck for two. <sighs> yeah, I think the game plan is trying to knock out this old guru for sure, right? I think that's a scary card here. And struck for two. Does he find Guzman energy? I don't know, guys. I mean, if he doesn't have Guzma this turn, or like, if we don't hit Guzma, which we probably are not going to hit Guzma, uh, okay, there's Shark for one. So he did find the counter, but he didn't find the Guzma, I'm guessing. Oh, because counter counts as one right now. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Now, here's the thing. What if he doesn't have any more energy? Like, he has two... Three is the last one energy or not able to take a knockout. Hmm, how do we heal this guy? Do you heal me? Nope, of course you don't. Um You know what? I think we just have to go for it. We either lose, we either got it, we don't got it, right? Like if he hits the if he has a Guzman energy, he's gonna eventually win anyway. Uh yeah, I think. This is not what I wanted to do here, but he attacks the other counter. You gotta think he has more energies, so we'll just go for it. Um, we could Lily, but I mean, as soon as he has Guzma and energy, he's got it. Is his last DC prize? That's what I want to know. If it's like, uh, hmm. And you know what? We're just going to go for it. We're just going to send a club for the knockout. If he's got the Guzman energy, he's got the game, right? Eventually, he got it. I don't know if his last DC is prized. We don't know this. We're just going to go for it. Here comes Latios. Does he have Guzma and an energy? Oh, we're tight still. Oh, the, the, the DCE will get him the game right here. The whole time I was worried about him having this. Okay. Um, now we're in a different problem. How many energies in here? Two. Okay, so we got enough. If he did have the DCE. All right, yeah. All right, struck for one. We win, yeah. I forgot. We broke that one price card. Counter, 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 counter. Yeah, good, good, good. We did it. All right. I thought for some reason um, he had two prize cards left, but he only had one. So uh, his yeah, that was good. That was really good. Like we're trading on GX as soon as he's got down to one. His counter energies don't work. Yeah, that was really good. Good job, Josh. All righty. But still, if you hit DCE Guzma, he he won right a hundred percent. All right, so here we go. Game number two. That was a pretty good game number one. <clears throat> All right. I don't think we made that many mistakes. Okay. Hmm. But now Diaga. Press done. Let's see what we got here. Stop at the top of Coco's. Um. Yeah, we'll discard one and two. Grab a Lele. We could go Magnemite. Yeah, I'm gonna go Magnemite. 
<laughs> Metal and Cynthia. We could L Lele, but I'm scared of the... Why are we playing so many spread decks? All right. Um, Acrobike. For the Ultra Ball. Um, We'll just pass right now. <laughs> Okay. Once again, we'll save the magnemites. We'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll you know spread out the stuff. Good. I'm out of Starbucks too. Means I'm not gonna be able to concentrate as much. Oh my goodness! Let's punish this deck, please, Pokemon. Please, Pokemon. Please, Pokemon. Let me hit a metal and Mount Cornet. Grab one of these guys. Lily for five and hope. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, all right. Uh, press done. That's all we can do right now. No Mount Cornet, but they I mean they judged us into a good hand. But we didn't hit Mount Cornet. We could have put the Mount Cornet down in turn one, but if he's playing a Shrine deck, that would have be been a really bad idea. Uh, it's probably a Giratina Malamar Tapu Koko spread dot deck. Yep, there's an NK, okay. I really don't want to put it down this Malamar. Like, I really, I mean, not Malamar, I really don't want to put down this Tapu Lele. So I'm hoping we top deck <clears throat> Mount Cornet. I'm hoping he's putting the Tapu Koko down, but then he's got probably Skateboard to get free retreat to his NKs. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. What is he going to do here? So there's a uh, Tapu Lele, Psychic Energy, Flying Flip. <coughs> One turn too late. Well, it's not too, too late, right? Um, so 4, 8, 12, 13, 14. So you can't knock out this and this. And that's good. Uh, so Magnetic Circuit. One here. Magnetic Circuit one here. It's going to make me stop it. Power Blast for the knockout. All right, this is not how the deck must be working. I want to play against an Evolution deck just to show it off. There's a Cynthia. All right, it's a good card for us to have. Here comes Sidewave, Tapu, and Lele. Okay. Now, we have a couple of options. If, okay, so there's a Shrine. I don't care too much with the Shrine. Uh, Psychic Energy Deactive. We see Magical Swap probably happening. Uh, he's probably not got the Magnezone, most likely. Like I said, he's got 4, 8, 12, 13. Actually, he only has 140, so it doesn't knock us out at all. Uh, so Magical Swapping. I guess he's probably going to knock out the active. Is, if I was a bet, man, that's what he's going to do here. Now, we have a couple of options. We could put it on the top of Lele. Get the Lady. Get four energies. And then we take a knockout. We could Cynthia here. Uh, it's gonna take a minute to swap out on those damages because I don't know why Pokemon hasn't fixed this yet. They should really fix this. So we'll just sit here. Um, so we'll take a time, guys. If you uh, like your content, go to, oh, there's all my Pokemon cards. We're like, we're, we were literally like, I was building decks. I was like, oh, I gotta build some decks. Let me search on my cards and I just moved. Uh, hold on, Princess calling. Hey, Princess, what you doing? I'm recording the video. You want to say hi to YouTube? <laughs> uh, I got to put a pause on by the middle of the game. I'm recording the middle of the game right now as we speak. <laughs> Guys, for those of you who know, Chelsea's currently leaving work and she doesn't want me to hang up. Um, don't worry. I'll stay on the phone while I'm playing, babe. You can hear me talk to the people, okay? Okay, stay on the phone. No, so yeah, stay on the phone. Somebody gets you. Okay, guys. So uh, he took a knock on the magical swap. Um, all right. Let's think about this, babe. What do we want to do here, Chelsea? All right. So we ultimately have two statements. So we're gonna check to see if our lady is prized. All right. Oh, the lady is not prized. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab um a Magnezone, guys. Just case top deck we're candy. We're going to Tapu Lele. I know he's got the Shrine of Punishment, but this is going to guarantee us the lady. So we can attack this turn. Seems like a good play, right, Chelsea? Yeah, Chelsea, that's a good play. All right, so a lady here for four metal energies. 
I need to see four metal energies in my deck. You're supposed to tell me to do that, Chelsea. It's okay, I forgave you. Well, magnetic circuit, two metals to the active. Because it's glitch, only let's attach two at a time. Then we'll do it again. All right, I'll take a knockout on the Lele, and then he really can't do too much this turn, uh, so we should be okay for just a minute. He can spread to us. Why is only less hatching what those as at a time? So man. All right, then we'll power blast from lockout. Now the top of Lele will take some damage, and he can start spreading the Coco, which is somewhat scary. It is a GX prize card eventually. All right, metal energy, so we can attach next turn. It's Cynthia from the hand of six. Send him to top of Coco at home to his turn. Uh, Chelsea, how was your day at work? You lost your card. Oh, how did you lose your card, guys? Chelsea lost her card. Oh, she found it. She found her card. Never mind, guys. I thought you said you lost your card. I thought Chelsea had lost her credit card, guys. All right, so my opponent just Guzman up a Magnazone. Okay, it's not very good, Chelsea. We don't need our Magnazone being brought up. To my opponent, he's not very nice. Oh, Chelsea, we topped like a fisherman. That's really good. It's really good, Chelsea. Alright, so we got the fisherman top deck because Chelsea's good luck. Well, Mag Stop laughing, Chelsea. You are good luck. Alright. You got your car now? You feel safe now, babe? Yeah, do you want to say anything to the fans? You don't want to say, anybody, say anything to the fans? I <laughs> love you too, princess. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, so one game. Sorry there, Chelsea was leaving work, and I can't, you know, she's leaving work. It's currently 11 o'clock at night, so we make sure she was safe and got your car. Uh, we're going to play one more game with the deck, and we'll see what happens. All right, she's like, yeah, put the game on pause. I'm like, babe, we can't can't put the game on pause. This is a really, really good game. Uh, but Chelsea was good luck and gave us the win. Can we please play against an evolution deck? Please, Pokemon. I mean, at least we saw the GX tech from Necrozma GX. All right, on to game number three, Pixups. Pixups? I don't know how to say the name, but uh, on to game number three, we won the coin flip again. Yeah, we'll go first. You kidding me? Alrighty. All right, so put down this guy. I don't know what he's playing, but there's a fairy here, so maybe he's playing some kind of fairy deck. It's a good guess of mine. I mean, what we might do here? Oh, baby. It's a Gardevoir deck. Boom, 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 boom. We're about to take this to town. All righty. He's going to see this metal. He might concede immediately. Especially if he sees me, like, turn one Stevens. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Stevens resolved. We don't have to put down anything. Well, Acrobike? Uh, sightseer. Well, this for this guy. Oh, we are going to win this game, guys. Like, there's no way we're not winning. Uh, Stevens resolve for two, uh, two medals. And I really just want to grab three medals. I think that's what I want to do here. Yeah, that's what we're going to grab. We're going to have three medals. So you may be thinking, what is, what is happening here? Well, what we could do is Ultra Ball with two medals. Uh, oh, no. I needed a... Uh, huh. Never, okay, no. We can do is Rick any this. Uh, we can just take a knock on the Vulpix, right? We can just Claw Slash for the knockout. We could Sightseer these three away. Well, wait a second. Uh, there's a Brooklyn Hill coming down. Like, we're taking the knockout this turn. We're going to claw slash for the knockout. This, I mean, we're going to win this game. Like, if we lose, like, Mudkip has 60 HP. Diaga turn back time can knock it out. We're looking good to go. Like, everything in this deck is weak to, to this thing. Yeah, he can maybe take a knockout with, like, nine tails next turn. But I don't care. Just saying. <laughs> All right. So on our turn, we will <laughs> rare candy, Magnazone. We will magnetic circuit. One to here, two to here, magnetic circuit. Another to here. 
Well, Sightseer, uh, the Rare Candy, drawn two. Well, three, sorry. Well, Ultra Ball, one and two. To grab another Magnazone. Whoa, Rare Candy, Magnazone. Got double Rare Candy, Magnazone. We're looking good. We're looking really, really good. And Brooklyn Hill doesn't matter. So 60, Claw Slash. Don't even care what cards you got. Show me you got nine tails, and you're going to whatever. GX tack us. Oh, we got a lady next turn as well. That can get us four energies. We can, like, turn back time for knockout. We can use, like, Power Blast for the knockout. We are looking good, guys. We are looking A-okay here. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, nine tails. GX coming down. Does he got rare candy, guardy, energy, and attach, supplemation GX. Then we turn we power blast for the knockout if we want to do that. Um we could time for turn back time. We just take a knockout that way. So there's rare candy and timer ball. Alrighty, let's see. Does he hit heads on this? So timer ball. Heads and tails. Alright, so this is probably gonna get him a guardy war, or does he go for Swampert? Marsh stop. All right, so he has rare candy guardian hand. If that's the case, unless he's going for a second. <clears throat> yeah, he has to go that route, right? So there's energy lotto. Oh, this is like exactly Penny's list. All right, energy lotto because nobody like that's a secret card right there. So rare candy into the guardy. There it is. Hmm. So like I guess we have two options here. We can either go. Um, I think we go Cynthia and hope we hit a Mount Cornet and an Energy. Um, and then we just turn back time and take a knockout. I think this is a better play. I don't want to give one of my Magna Zones up as of right now. Um, we could have Lady, but then that's not guarantee us anything. So I think right now I'm with Cynthia, which is a little bit of a risky play. But we just need a Mount Cornet, which we play four of in a single Energy. We have some, you know, Acrobikes ready to go. There's Sublimation GX taking a knockout, going down to four. All right, we'll send it with Dialga. <clears throat> Let's see here. So there's a Cynthia. Good lady, like I said, but Cynthia get a new hand of six. Uh-oh. We'll put this down. We'll Mount Cornet. Use Mount Cornet. And then we'll just press done right now. Um, he really can't take a knockout this turn. So that's good. We can Mount Corn in again, get some energies. We can then use uh, Power Blast for the knockout. There's a Cosmog. So this is going to give him, like, whatever, no weakness, which is fine. If you notice, Ralts has 60 HP. This has 60 HP. This has 90. That's going to be a little problematic for us. I'm not going to lie. This one Marshomp might be a little problematic, but we could just Power Blast it for Nargo. But everything else has got 60 HP. He's not going to be one shot of this turn to knock out with Guardi. It's impossible. He needs Dace E, Double Fairy, Choice Band on the Cosmog, okay? And yeah, he can get to where we don't have, he has no weakness, but it's not gonna matter, right? So here we go, 70 30. On our turn, <clears throat> well, Acrobike for Beast Energy. Well, Lady for four energies. Okay. Well, magnetic circuit. Let's put one, two. Um, I think we just go out and just take like two prize cards all we can right now. I think it's a better idea. Put another one here. Well, and this list doesn't play judge or anything. It doesn't play any stadium cards. So these are going to stay in play forever, and we'll just Power Blast and make sure. Yep, Power Blast for the knockout. We go down to three price cards. He can maybe take a knockout here, um, <clears throat> but we'll be able to take a knockout. We'll both be at, uh, and yeah, we should be fine here. Like, I'm 100%, I'm fine with this matchup. Like, I'm fine with this. Um, at any moment, we can use Dust Mane across and GX. That can even knock out uh, a <laughs> So Galio. <laughs> So yeah, we pretty much have this in the bag. He doesn't play Judge. He doesn't play Marshadow. He's not going to disrupt our hand. Um, he can send up like... Um, the only thing I'll be kind of scared of, if he gets a Swampert 
and the Swampert can take a knockout, which it can, right? But if he attacks with this guy with Swampert, we're all okay. Um, what we could do as well is if he doesn't get that Solgaleo online, we could just, like, Guzma up the so Like, we could send him the Magna Zone. Because it doesn't matter. Yeah, we pretty much have the game no matter what. It just depends on what he does with... Uh, it depends if he gets Swampert on this guy. If Swampert gets out on this guy and he attacks with it, then we lose. We don't lose, but we're definitely in a pickle. Uh, but if he attacks with this guy, we're going to devolve him, put down the, the... We'll just hold our hand. Like I said, he doesn't play Judge. He doesn't play Marshadow. There's no way he's going to disrupt our hand. He doesn't play a Stadium to disrupt us as well. So we're looking fine here. Like, this was the best deck to come out of regionals, but this deck 100% just counters it. Like, there's no... Like, we can just trade the Algas all day and then, then clean up with Dustman GX. It doesn't matter. He's going to go down to three maybe this turn. We're going to go down to two. He's going to go down to two. We're going to goose him for the knockout with our Dustman. And that's going to be game. So, yep, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is a very exciting Road Tuesday. We took down two, shrine, uh, two spread decks. And like we learned with the spread decks, basically, you want to spread out your Magnemites, which we saw. Um, don't bench too many Pokemon, as you saw. Don't try to bench your GXs unless you really, really have to. Uh, hopefully, you get a, a phone call from Chelsea, which helps you out a lot. Uh, you can see my opponent's probably just really mad right now. Oh, he probably timed out. Oops. Oops. But no matter what, like I said, okay, there we go, victory. I don't know what happened. I guess maybe he timed out, like I said. But no matter what, we we're pretty much going to win that game. Like I said, there he didn't play Judge. There was no way he could really do anything. Um, what we could have done as well, let me check something real quick. <clears throat> the Magnazone does 150, so that could have taken a knockout maybe. I can't remember how much Swampert has. I think, um, <clears throat> let's see how much, um, I need to see how much HP Swampert has. 160, okay. So like I said, it depends on how he got the Swampert out. If he break Candy Swampert, like it looked like he was going to, then um, <clears throat> we could have just de-evolved it. And then next turn we Guzma, we could attach energy to Dust Me across with GX. Took it a knock, I hit the Beast energy, so we could have easily done 250 damage. Even knocking out his Solgaleo GX a promo card if he did get it out. But guys, there we go. There's the Magnezo deck. It seems like a very, very, very strong deck. I would test it more um, against Blacephalion, but I think this is a really, really good deck in the meta, in the meta right now. It seems really, really strong. Diago will turn back time. Deal Ball Pokemon seems really good. It's a really good, like, my basic Pokemon to attack with. So maybe this deck to consider, like, it seems really good in the meta right now. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Have a great Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday, which I have a very important announcement. And, uh, yeah. Alrighty. Bye.